Hope you're having a great day so far. Today is November 16th, Monday, and on this post, I'm going to be talking to you about the overall crypto markets as well as doing a follow up post to my yesterday's post on Uniswap, Uni, USD, and see if anything has changed since then. I'm going to be sharing with you now my bullish and bearish case scenario as well as the short term price prediction according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before we begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. Now, if you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Weeble brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. You're still giving away three free stocks upon a successful signup and a qualifying deposit, and I will also receive a referral bonus if you sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future. And you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky. Please do also let me know your questions and comments. Only leave them in the comment section below. I will get to them a lot faster that way. But let me know what symbols you guys are trading, following. I can see if I can share my analysis and opinions on those symbols. Now let's take a look at what exactly is going on in the markets. First of all, I do like to take a look at Bitcoin dominance. That tells me where the money is trending into or out of. Today, we do have Bitcoin dominance at about almost 66%, up over 0.6% from yesterday. We do see that the breakdown of Bitcoin dominance is being, is being attributed by the increase in Bitcoin price action, up over 5%, as well as total altcoin market cap up three over three percent okay so this is my theory about bitcoin dominance on this cycle even though i do see that bitcoin dominance is going to continue trending up i do see that this may bring a lot of the altcoins up with it my reasoning is because if we actually take a look at a lot of the altcoins on the rsis on the higher time frames such as the three day weekly and even monthly if those altcoins have been long uh, been around long enough I do see quite a bit of them having a very low RSI, indicating that they're near or at oversold levels. So that will give some of these altcoins quite a bit of room to run. We're going to see if that is true. I may very well be wrong. Now let's take a look at Uniswap, UniUSD, and see what exactly has gone on since yesterday. We did see quite a bit of development since my post yesterday. It's very fast changing markets. And this is why I emphasize risk management and continuously evaluating the market. Since yesterday, yesterday on my uh, post was that we were at uh, the price action was right above the four hour 21 simple moving average time frame. And it looked like it was going to get a bounce before it got rejected at about uh, over the $3.90 level. So now the price action has actually breached the four hour 21 simple moving average which is the blue line right here and it looks like it has formed a head and shoulders pattern head and shoulders pattern are bearish patterns and the measure breakout of this target of the measure the measure target of this breakout would be taking the distance from the neckline to the head and then deducted from the neckline which would give us about just slightly below three dollars we're gonna see if this comes true now some of the early indicators to see if this actually comes true is knowing the levels of support that's right beneath the price action now and seeing if the price action breaks it or not. Currently, we are right above the six hour 21 simple moving average as support. If this support does not hold, we do have a few other levels of support right beneath the price action and between the price action now and the measure target one of them is or well, the next immediate one will be the three day 21 simple moving average currently about three dollars and forty cents and then the next real one i'm looking at would be the next fib level right here about three dollars and fifteen cents and then finally going down to three dollars which is very close to the measure target we're going to see if this actually plays out now let's explore both the bullish and bearish case scenarios my bullish case scenario still has not changed, but it has to be given that we get back about $4. If we actually get back about $4, the next major resistance that I actually do see is $4.70. Now, 
which is the FIB level right above it, okay? And also the measured target of this bigger falling wedge that we had actually broken on, uh, broken out of. That is the bullish case scenario given that we get above $4 again, okay? But we have to stay above $4 for me to actually consider the next price level at $4.70. Now, the bearish case scenario, we are actually at it. If this measured target of the heading of the head and shoulders actually plays out and brings down, brings the price action down to almost about three dollars, that is the bearish case scenario. But we do have quite a few levels of support to see if price action is able to bounce off any of them. Now we're just gonna have to take it level by level and actually see if uh, what actually plays out. Now this concludes my short post today on my follow-up on Uniswap USD. Let me know if you guys found this post helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know your thoughts, feedback, agreements, disagreements, and possibly your price targets. I'd love to know, and I hope you guys manage your risk carefully. See you next time.